Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Marianne. How are you all going? I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers to my channel. I've had another big jump, <coughs> excuse me, in subscribers, so welcome and thank you for subscribing. Um, yeah, it's awesome to have you here. Um, today I'm just doing week three of my crafty week in review got a mixed bag of crafts <coughs> excuse me so let's just see what I have been up to I'm going to start with the coloring um, I got this book in the mail this week it's been a long time since I have actually colored without color by numbers or anything like that it's been years like at least four I think 2019 was the last time that I actually coloured coloured so I'm going to show you what I did I've got some pen uh, coloured um, watercolours and so yeah this is my design that I did uh, it's all watercolour base and I've gone over it with fine liners and a bit of gel so I'm really happy with how this turned out so yeah, that's in this book. This book is very, it's very nice. It's just, yeah, nice. But like I said, it's been a long time since I've actually coloured, like, look, there's a craft one that I've actually coloured with um, pencils and everything like that. So that was fun. Um, I, with the watercolour pencils, I used an alcohol blender just a cl uh, clear blending pen to get them to without water which I think I'm pretty happy with this like not bad for since it's been at least four years since I've actually colored properly I mean not colored properly okay since I've colored with pencils all right so I worked on this design one night Another night, I worked out of this book, Mystery Mosaic Dogs, a book I've had for a long time, and I haven't done any pictures in it. So, this was the first picture, and this is the one that I did with the cross method. This is using fine liners, uh, teaser fine liners. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yep, so... Yeah, the mystery mosaics. I love them. I've got a few of them, and I want to order more because they're a lot of fun. Okay, so I did that one as well. That was out of the dogs. <sighs> Mythic mermaids, a color by number by Color Questopia. And I've been working through the book. So I did three pages one night because they don't take very long so I did this first page let me just take out the using grease proof paper for um, alcohol be between your pages of alcohol markers is really good because it doesn't bleed through onto the next page I mean I still have paper underneath but it doesn't bleed through which is interesting so this was colored with alcohol markers and gels this one's the same alcohol markers and gels you can see the, the gels I use alcohol marker as a base and just go over the areas with gel and this one too alcohol markers and gels like these don't take very long so yeah these were the yep those were the coloring pages i have worked on in mythic mermaids i just need this put this with this all right so that's my coloring now 
before I show you, no paint by numbers this week. No um words, sorry. <laughs> no diamond painting this week. Um I'll show you what else I now. Um I have a lot of wool or yarn. Um and I used to really enjoy crochet. I dabble with a little bit of knitting. Uh, knitting socks and, and a little bit of knitting but I really used to enjoy crochet um, in a long time ago I, I used to crochet for people run a business with my friend you know just selling stuff anyway um, after that finished I um, didn't crochet for a long long time I used to crochet amigurami and um, blankets and everything really big into crochet and I haven't picked up anything this year um, <clears throat> my friend was talking to me and she goes and I go I've never made doilies or you know the beautiful lace table runners and she goes well give it a try she goes I think you'll be able to with your hand I went okay so I thought about it and I thought well I've also got loom knitting stuff I've got the circle looms and the straight looms I'm ordering an Afghan size loom anyway so I thought well I'll give it a go with loom knitting first now I have made a few things on the loom as well like beanies and other stuff and I thought well I'm gonna give I've got a spare yarn well most of it's like um, thin stuff like sock yarn but the rest of my stuff is like you know scraps so I thought, okay, um, I'm going to give loom knitting a go. I there's a, I want to make a blanket um, and see how I go. So on the loom, this is what I worked on last night. It's called a 10 stitch blanket. Now for three days, I sat here of, a, of an evening and I actually sat here most of yesterday and worked it took me a little while to learn how to do the turns to, and the connection, get it right. And I played with this and this, and I had other scrap yarn and I played with this. And um, yeah, so for three day, three nights, I sat, on, I sat down and I worked this out. And at first I was using thin yarn, two thin yarns, like um, what are they, skinny cakes, cone skinny cakes, joined together. Getting... I like the male effect and then I was like oh, this is frustrating so I decided to just get a normal color I don't know what ply or what it is I think it's normal worsted I think um, and just start so um, a 10 stitch blanket is very is uh, there's patterns for knitting and crochet as well and the concept is is that it's only 10 stitches which is on here and that's all you use so this whole shape and everything else is only on 10 stitches now there's some fantastic YouTube tutorials which I've been watching I haven't watched much of any, uh, anything else actually about the 10 stitch blanket there's one called um, by good knit kisses if you are interested in the 10 stitch blanket now I don't know about you guys, but definitely when the weather is cool or heading, you know, that's when I like to bring out my wool or yarn crafts. Um, the last couple of days, the weather's been really horrible. We went from summer to from 30 degrees Celsius to severe winds of 90 kilometres an hour to the winds were icy to temperatures of 13 in a day or in a, in, in a night so we had we went from a week or oh sorry my nose is itching we went from a week of about four or five days of warm to hot days beautiful days and then the temperature plummeted and we've had a couple of days of very cold wet windy winter weather Today is a top of 25, 26. Yesterday was freezing. Yesterday was about 15, but it was felt a lot colder. Top of today of 25, 26, and tomorrow it's going to be cold again and raining. And then 
for a couple more days and then heat up again. It's just crazy. Anyway, when it's cold and wet and rainy, I like to bring out my wool yarn crafts. Whether it be crochet or knitting or something. So, I have been working on this loom skittle says hello. Been working on this 10 stitch blanket and I'm really enjoying it. In fact, it's very addictive and this is all I have wanted to do. Um, I mean, I, I will work on it in summer a little bit at a time until it gets too hot, until it gets too big. And then I'll put it away and work on it again and maybe think about socks because I have a sock loom as well. So oh, I'm really sorry, my nose. I'm going to pause for a minute. All right, sorry about that. My nose is driving me nuts. Um, probably got hay fever. Anyway, so this is it. I thought, and while I paused, I went and grabbed my other sample. This is stitched with two strands of the um, thin um skinny cakes together and well, as you can see i was trying a different stitch and everything else and just trying to see so uh, that's that's what that's a sample i mean i haven't um bound it off or anything i just cut it and just i just wanted to see how i i liked it and whether i liked the stitch i was using but i've actually gone back to the stitch that's in the pattern it's a garter stitch not this kind of stitch but it's interesting anyway so if you're interested in the 10 stitch blanket they have um for crochet knitting and loom if you're interested check out the tutorials on youtube and like i said there's a really good one especially for the loom from good knit kisses all right that's enough about the other crafts i've been up to this week now the cross stitch all right as as you know i start a new cross stitch every day i just put one thread in um and and yeah, just one strand, start new cross stitch and then go into my wheel. And I'm thinking I'm going to actually change how I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to, I've taken a couple of my whips off my whip wheel. And I've kept four. They're all Christmas ones and I'll show you the designs in a minute. But I thought each day I'm going to pick one new one. And then do a strand from my wheel that has all these cross stitch kits that have only had very little work put in or some work put in they all will be 14 count not 11 um 11 really is uncomfortable really 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 hurts my wrist so i will not be doing 11 count and i'm going to be slowly converting my 11 counts to 14 either by counted or by finding another picture or another pattern for them elsewhere like on aliexpress um so i'm going to be slowly converting my cross stitch to 14 either the full coverage counted or yeah and that's just the way that i do i love the 11 count pictures they're beautiful i love the designs but i just cannot deal with the fabric um even if it's a normal like a 40 by 50 it's still too hard and heavy on my wrist and it, i can only do a tiny little bit of stitching and so i've discovered that using the 14 count even the biggest size of the 14 count is a little, little bit easier and gentler on my wrist to use and i can get more stitching done which is what i like to do because that's my first love is the cross stitch so everything is going to be you won't see any more 11 count patterns from me everything i'm going to convert it's going to be a long process and and everything else but that's my plan so um what was i saying <laughs> i'm very talkative today i'm really sorry <laughs> i must be one of those moods anyway so i am going to show you uh, oh yes i was talking about my new plans before i show you my kits uh going forward from this week i've got four cross stitches that are going to stay in my whip 
which you'll see. I've, and then each day I want to work on a new one, one strand, and one that's going to be in my um, other wheel, um, one strand, old and new, and then work on for a couple of hours my main whip out one out of the four spin the wheel and then see what I do of an evening and everything else and that way I get to work on old I you know one strand just a little bit of progress but it's still progress and um a new new joy Sunday ones as well a new 14 count so what if I what was new this week These are all Joy Sunday, these three. Alright, the first one is this one. If they've got where they were written on, um, that's where they are. If they haven't, it's because I didn't used to write where they were where I got them from. Or if they haven't, they're also from AliExpress. So yeah. Alright, I just did the one stitch, started off with colour one, just here. This one will be a very easy stitch, there's a lot of block colour in this. It's not my favourite, I love the picture, but stitching without interesting motives or anything, stitching a whole block like this, I find boring. But a little bit at a time, one strand at a time, is not going to be too bad all right this one the toy gift shop gift shop it's a partner to the coffee shop that i showed you last week and they are both available all right this one is very um as you can see okay where did i where did the one strand start okay you can see on the back just here so in the bike here and then it went I have to feel because it blends in so well and oh yeah and up in there so that's the one strand with this one it's a fun design this it has 26 colors or no 24 colors um, yeah Fun. So that's the partner to the coffee shop. Then this one was started. It's very cute. And for those that are new, how I pick my stuff is I have all my cross stitch joy Sunday kits in A4 glad bags. And they're in my cupboard and all of the designs are facing the face the wall so when I go pick a design they're facing this way so I just grab the nearest bag because I've got four of them I just grab the nearest bag and I pull out the next cross stitch that is this way I don't know what it is um, I've got and I work on that one stitch a day one strand which is one length of the floss okay so I've got no idea what I'm picking each day. So that's how I pick my new starts. Okay, this one I did just in here. Just that, just there. That was the one strand there. Another very cute design. This one too is available most of the shop stores. So that was that one. This one, Merry Christmas 8. I like Christmas stitching for those that are new as well. We don't have this winter Christmas. Our Christmas is hot and everything else. Hot Christmas. We're in the summer. I live, for those of you that are also new, I live in Australia. I live in Victoria. About two hours southeast of Melbourne, which is Victoria's capital city. So I live at the bottom end of Australia. 
not quite in Tasmania, but yes. And this one, the one's okay. Oh, there. Had to work out where I, where I had stitched for this one. Just here. Let me start in the black button. But yeah, so I was also born and born in England, in the UK, in the north of the UK. Um, place near Lincoln and York, around that area. Um, so, but I don't remember snow or anything, but I just love the romance, the idea of a white Christmas and how pretty everything is in the snow and everything I like that. I don't like the snow. And if we, we, we don't rarely go visit the snow up in the mountains, we, we don't like the cold, but I like the romance and the pictures of it. I know, I'm weird. All right, I've started on this one, Gouache Cat. This one's a full coverage. Uh, as you can see, paint somewhere. Oh yeah, cats as well. I like cats. This one's got a lot of thread. Okay, where did I start on this one? Oh, yep. Just a little bit, one strand just here in the back. So, that's the thing with these printed kits. It's hard to see sometimes where you're working. Just in here. village it's fun this one's a long okay there's a little bit down in here down there and down here, just in there. I read them thinking about giveaways as well because I've got November's coming up. Do you guys want a giveaway every month? Um, let me know. Um, I've just about got, gone through all the, most of the stores that I use, the ones that I know. Um, let me know if you guys want a giveaway every month or whether you would be happy to have a giveaway every two months. I'm quite happy to do the giveaways, um, but just let me know, okay? Um, I've been having less and less people enter the giveaways as the months go on. Um, so yeah, just just let me know okay let me know if you'd be happy to have a giveaway if let's say every two to three months and not every month or if you're happy to have the giveaways giveaways every month and if you want the giveaways every month do you want a particular store or i i've been thinking that if i do the giveaways every month then i make it the viewer's choice which store you know fan sales paint some way Biggest car, VIP, um, cross stitch. What else is there? One day savings, GBFKE. You know, any store that you know like that. Would you prefer a thirty-five of you, a, a voucher of your choice, store of your choice? Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to know whether you want a giveaway every month whether you would prefer a giveaway every two or three months and whether you would prefer your choice of the store okay it's i i really do so i just know where to go for november's giveaway all right speaking of giveaway don't forget to enter october's okay i'll give you all the instructions at the end all right and the last one that i 
was a new start with this one underwater world it's gorgeous this oops now this one is a big one this is the design now where have i stitched somewhere <laughs> here just a little bit on the back here so just here just filling in this color here so that's my new starts this week as to what i have worked on in cross stitch from my whips that i've explained i'm changing and now let's see what i've worked on there <laughs> Pixie's sitting on the bag. Okay, now I haven't worked on all of these. This one, yes, yes, yes. Now let's just go through them and see if I have worked on them. If I haven't, this one is going back in the whip. I'm taking this one off the rotation. gorgeous now I don't know whether I worked on it this week or not I can't remember or maybe I was going no I haven't but this is my progress a little bit up here and worked in here no I haven't worked on this one this week I pulled it out and then we went out somewhere so I didn't work on this one but that one's going back in the rotation just one strand okay this one Christmas delivery van is staying in my whip rotation. This one's fun. I love it. It's gorgeous. And it is all full coverage, no backstitch. At all. It's huge. Look. It's massive. So, okay, it's easy to see again from the back okay so worked around up here so from the front now when I start these joy Sundays specifically the joy Sundays I pick start from color one work or color I would color, color complete so I work color by color wherever that takes me and then until it's run out so in here, in the truck, in the wheels, and just in here, like you can't see, it blends in so well, but yeah. And this one's staying in my whip pile. I love this design. It's absolutely gorgeous. We used to have Labradors, um, used to have a beautiful golden male, Marilyn, and Lexi was our black female, and they had pups a few times. And this reminds me of my beautiful Melon and Lexi, who are both gone. We still miss them. But, yeah, so, love this design. So, this design's staying out. It's just gorgeous. Yep. So, that's staying in my whip pile. This one, of course, is staying in my whip pile. Kiss the snowman. A favourite of mine. This one, I am getting there and I'm really excited with how much, just by stitching colour by colour, you can see. Okay, so this is my back. As you can see, I've done a fair bit. So, this week, what did I do? I finished... Um, color. Yeah, I finished the circle, which was where. Oh, yep, yeah, the bit of the. I finished the background. So I finished. Worked in part of there. I've also worked in. I did the outline of his nose this week. So yeah, so I finished one of these colors background colors i think this one and yep so did his nose so yeah 
I, I love this design and I'm, I'm having so much fun stitching on this and as you can see that's my progress on the back I, I'm loving it it's just fun goes very nicely yep so I'm up to color 13 no color 11 out of 27 colors so not quite halfway through the colors but that's good that it, it's fun so this one is staying in my whip pile absolutely it's an absolute favorite of mine this one now I don't like how they've outlined this bit so when I eventually get there I won't outline that bit but this one's cute this one's fun too this one is not staying in my whip pile but this one I have worked on okay yeah there's the back I finished the purple flowers with this one and started on the black with the eyes and where else so that's the progress on this one it's very cute but it's not staying in my whip pile for now this one is staying in my whip pile this one is an awesome design another full coverage I love my full coverage I used to stitch shades I love my full coverage. So. And again, I don't have any hates to show you. I got rid of them all when I stopped cross stitching for a while. All right, so this is the progress. This one, I I flipped around a little bit. I thought oh, I'll stitch up here, and then I thought oh, I'll I'll do a little bit of this color, the, the cream, and then I thought no, I'm actually going to start from one. Because this one too looks very complex. And it's just like, okay. So, this is, I'm starting from, what am I doing with this one? This one, I'm not doing colour by colour because it's, I'm struggling like I tried with the red that's number one and I can't hardly see it at the moment because it's blending in with the other symbols so what I have I have this is the only exception that I am working on I'm working on this one starting from so this one is going to be worked different because it's so busy Because this one, sorry, I had thrown at the door. Because this one is so busy, um, I'm struggling to see the different symbols because they're so close in in colour. Look, um, I am working this one from this colour. So when I finish this colour. I'll work across, pick the next colour and do this colour. So this one, I'm still working colour by colour, but I'm working my way across the next stitch, that the next colour that's there. Because this one is just crazy with um, the colours and like, as you can see, it's gorgeous. But um, I'm losing track so this one is the way that I'm stitching this one like I would stitch a full coverage run out of thread start the next one but this one I'm doing color completing from the left corner so that one's staying in my rotation I love this design it's absolutely gorgeous so, and this one that one I haven't worked on. This one I, is staying in my rotation. Love this design too. This one's a lot of fun as well. Okay, and this one I'm still working. This is my back. 
and this one I'm still okay I have been working in filling in this that's this set that doesn't look that big but it is it's deceptive this little area it's still the same color it's still colorful this is a lot of stitches um, I filled in from about here all the way up and of course I've got this bit to go and then the rest of it it's a lot of stitching it doesn't look it but it is and I really like how the white isn't stitched it's looking fantastic so this one is staying in my rotation it's a long way to go but it's gonna get it's gonna get there so yeah it's deceptive this bit it doesn't look a lot but it's yeah well this bit alone and to where it finished where I worked from was three strands so that's from here that's three it doesn't look it but yeah so those are my whips in rotation that you will see a lot every week and that's it and as for the rest of it we'll see what my wheel shows up this week we'll see what my wheel spins for alternative craft other than cross foot and yeah well that's everything for me i hope you guys have liked my rambly <laughs> video i'm really i'm no i'm not going to apologize actually this is me sometimes i talk a lot sometimes i don't talk at all my rambly video all right um i hope you've enjoyed seeing my different crafts and let me know one in the comments what what you want to do with the giveaway again whether you want it monthly every two months every three months or whether you prefer a specific shop or whether you would like your own choice of shop let me know also let me know in the comments what you've been working on other whether it be cross stitch whether it be knitting crochet coloring whatever let me know let me know what you've been up to and actually check my email is in the description send me an email i would love to see some of your projects and i might be able to even put them together as a slideshow and show everyone what you've been working on because that's part of the fun of seeing what everyone else is doing and admiring their crafts and it doesn't just have to be cross stitch okay I, like I said, I'm a main cross stitcher, but I do other crafts. And I'm sure you guys do too, and I'd love to see what you're working on. So send me an email with pictures, and then I can put them in the slideshow. All right, guys, that is everything from me today. Um, I'm expecting some parcels. I've got a parcel from Fansales that I ordered way back in either late August or very early September that got lost. So they resent it out to me. So that's a big one. So I've got that video to do. So look for that video. In the meantime, don't forget to um, enter my giveaway. To enter, you must be 18 and over. Be a subscriber. Like the video. And comment October in the video comments. And it is for a 35 voucher for Biggest Craft. And I look forward to hearing and reading your comments and seeing your emails of your work. All right, that's everything from me. Have a really good day and I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.